Can you exercise after your COVID-19 vaccine? As more Americans get both vaccinated and keep an eye toward their post-pandemic body goals, some are questioning if it's a good, bad, or neutral idea to work out right before or after the vaccine. While there's no strong evidence showing that exercising around the time of your vaccine will increase or decrease its efficacy, Bernstein, the chief medical officer at Peaks Coaching Group, told Insider there are some things to keep in mind when planning your vaccines and fitness routines. Don't force a workout if you're dragging, but try not to be too sedentary either. The available COVID-19 vaccines can come with side effects, which is simply a reflection of the immune system learning how to fight off the virus. Usually, symptoms are mild and last only a day or two. Some of the most commonly reported side effects include headaches, fatigue, chills, nausea, and dizziness, according to a January CDC report analyzing safety data on the nearly 13 million people who'd received a vaccine. Women seem to be a lot more likely than men to report side effects, perhaps because estrogen elicits a stronger immune response. The second dose, too, tends to be more likely to elicit side effects, and some evidence suggests COVID-19 survivors may have more severe reactions. Even people who received a placebo vaccine in clinical trials reported side effects. I would still recommend at least getting outside for a nice walk and continuing to stay hydrated while your immune system works its magic. Overtraining ahead of the vaccine isn't smart. The vaccine works by training your immune system to fight off invaders that look like the coronavirus, so it's in your best interest to receive it with a system that's in good shape. In other words, you want to put your best players in the game, not those on the injured list. Exercise, however, is something that can both support and deplete your immune system. Regular physical activity keeps it healthy, but overdoing it can backfire. Light arm exercises can help with injection site pain. While pull-ups may be too intense for people who don't already do them regularly, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention does advise people to keep their arms active to help deal with site pain. A cool, wet washcloth and over-the-counter painkiller may help too. There is a mental health component to getting a vaccine or any type of medical intervention. Exercise is a potent positive mental health coping mechanism. Continuing to keep moving before and after the vaccine is important both for physical and mental health benefits. Wearing a mask is highly effective and can make your daily life safer for those around you, but it's not a permission slip to return to normal. It's important to stay home when you can and continue practicing other coronavirus prevention measures like social distancing to help reduce the spread.